Business Software Applications Week 3. I hope you all are doing well, and I need to go over a couple things with you uh, before we get started with this module. First, some of you are not looking in the modules for information and watching my videos. Um, uh, There's 70 some kids that are taking business applications. And what, what I had, uh, my YouTube analytics only showed me 13 or 14 had watched my video from last week. Okay, that's a problem. So I think I know what the, pro- what, what the problem is. The problem is you've got your dashboard on Canvas set to lists and not to cards. Uh, although you can get to the course material in list if you click on the course icon, a good portion of you aren't. You're just looking at the assignments and doing the assignments. Doing a Canvas course or an online course is more than just doing assignments. So you, for my class, you need to look into the modules. Each one of the modules has a video like this, and you need to watch all the videos, and you need to you know, pay attention to what's going on that's not you know, in an assignment. Okay? And... We, this will be the second work week. Sorry, this, this will be the second week of doing ready to work Florida ready to work uh, course. And quite frankly, I don't have uh, but a few people even have made accounts on this. Uh, you know, so you didn't see the assignment last week because all you're doing is looking at assignments that get graded, and this particular assignment is not cannot be graded that simply in, in one box. So I put the assignment on a page and put it in my module. Okay. And you didn't look at it. So here's what you've got to do from now on is each week you need to check business software applications module. What are in there? You know, what, what are all the elements in there? And I put things in there separately, including a video like this for you to watch, to explain what you need to do. Now, I'm going to give you a grade for watching this video. I won't do that uh, hopefully very often, but I want to make sure you watch this video. So that's what I'm doing. And the other qu- the other issue is I have several students that have done particularly well on this online course you sh- you're supposed to make a login on and start working. Um, so, but I've got a bunch that haven't. You know, a bunch of you have not even created, got your account squared around. And creating an account, you've already got an account there. What you got to do is go in and change your password. Uh, and you change your password, there, there are instructions to do that. So anyway, the, the, the other question is how fast are we going to do this? Okay, so what I want you to do this week, uh, there are in the uh, Ready to Work course, there's two courses, Ready to Work and Soft Skills. And the Ready to Work course, there are three different topics, uh, applied mathematics, locating information, reading for information. So by the end of this week, I want you to have completed applied mathematics. Okay. We're going to do one of these topics a week. Uh, so for the next three weeks, we're going to be working on the, uh, course, um, uh, you know, ready to work course. And then the last week, we're going to work, or the last week of doing this course, we're going to work on the uh, soft skills course. So, but, but, and I have some students that have already completed this, okay? Um, but most of you have not even logged in and done any of it. Um, the courses are structured where you go in to do a pretest, and the pretest, if as long as you keep passing the pretest, it skips over modules that, uh, you need to do to do the course. As soon as you can't get past one of those pretests, it's, you have to go into the course and work through the course. Um, the course ha- each one of the courses, each one of those topics for the first uh, course has seven modules. Okay, so if you pass the you know uh, pretest for three modules, it'll start you on four, and you got to work your way through the rest of it. Okay, and it does grade you. To get past it, you have to get like at least a 70 on the test. So it, it does take some time to do, and it does depend on you reading a little bit. But I have had, I, I, after watching the students that are now working on it, I sort of have an idea how long it should take you to do stuff. So if you got any questions, you can, you can email me or whatever. But, you know, pretty much what 
most of you need to do is get busy with it. You need to get your account. I've had a student or two have a trouble getting account situations done. Um, if you haven't got your account created, we need to get your account created uh, or get your password changed so your account's working and you need to get busy. Okay, there are no excuses for this. Um, I do have 10, 15, 20 students that are working on it and, and some of them uh, doing really well. So uh, you need need to get going. Uh, okay, so um, <clears throat> let me think. Is there anything else? Um, yeah. I'm going to give the I'm going to give you a grade on creating or, or changing your password and get, getting your account working. So as soon as I see your accounts working, uh, I'm going to give you a grade for doing that. And it's a time uh, situation. If you got it done last week, uh, you're going to get a hundred on it. If you get it done this week, you're a week behind. You're going to get a ninety on it, and so forth. It's going to go by a uh, week, uh, but it should be also a fairly easy grade, like the, watching this video is going to be a fairly easy grade. Um, if you got any questions, I am on Google Hangouts during the day. Um, I answer emails. I try to, I'm going to try to help. Do not give up. You know, you've got to get going on this. Uh, doing a course online is harder than showing up to class. So the other, the other thing I need to remind you is um, we are taking attendance. We are checking uh, to see who's logged into Canvas and also uh, the my ready to work courses do analytics. And so I know how long you've been working. Um, I, you know, if you come in and say, Dr. Neil, I've been working on this three hours. I go, okay, let me log in and see how long you actually have been working on this. Uh, so, those things are documented. If you don't log into my course and do something during the week, you are absent for the week. Okay. When I get off this video, I'm going to post my absences. And so, you know, you've got to do, uh, your work for each and every class you're in each and every day. Okay. And have a plan, you know, time set aside that you are working on your online classes for school. Otherwise, uh, you're going, you know, it's going to be going to be difficult for you to succeed uh, with this. Anyway, uh, how do you get a grade for this watching this video? Up in the top right hand corner of the page, there should be a little blue blue little blue button to submit a text. You click on that to submit text. Click on that little button, and it gives you a text box. You type in. To this, Dr. Neil, I have watched this video and I'm going to go back in my modules and take a look at the videos and the other modules and everything I need to do. Okay, you do that, put a period on it, hit submit, and you're going to get a hundred for this assignment. Okay, so I hope you have a great week. Um, I hope to uh, see you soon. Uh, Y'all stay safe uh, and get your work done.